Suzuki teacher Michelle Sweeney and today I wanted to talk a little bit about practicing in the Suzuki way. It's very basic and simple actually. You practice every song in book one every day until you've completed book one. And then once you start book two, you use book one as your warm up. Um, so you continue to play every song in book one every day for um, the, first, the first year or two of your practicing. So. I'm hoping that by now you've learned a couple of the songs with me and that you understand a little bit about how we learn in the Suzuki way. But what I want to talk about today is just encouraging you to establish practice habits. So each day you can start at the beginning and you can work all the way through just reviewing each song that you've learned until you get to the song that you're working on. Um, and just play through each song every single day and focus on remembering those techniques and things that we practiced and learned with each song and make it just as beautiful as you can. It's a great way to get your fingers warmed up. In the Suzuki method, we, we like to teach scales starting with book two. So, and like technical exercises and things aren't really a part of your study at the beginning. So your warm ups, playing your twinkles and playing your beginning pieces as a way to warm up your fingers and get them ready to move and ready to practice that's your technique, that's your technical exercise, that's your warm-up. So, practice every song every day. When you're just barely starting, then what that looks like is practicing every song every day means you listen to every song every day. And then as you start to learn some of the songs, you practice a little bit with each song and then you listen for the rest. And as you get further and further through the book, you'll play every song every day and then you'll listen to the ones that you're going to start studying soon. So you want to be sure that every single day you are hearing every song in book one you're starting at the beginning and you're going all the way to end, all the way to the end of the book, either playing or practicing, depending on what you've learned so far. So your ears will be hearing every single song in book one for the entire time that you're studying book one, and your fingers will be playing each song that you have studied on its way to the song that you're currently practicing. So um, we do a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of repetition with Suzuki, so you'll want to play each song every day and practice each song every day by either listening or playing. I hope that helps, and just keep on playing, ask me questions, I'd love to help, and thanks for learning piano with me.